everyone. Welcome to my living room. We are here today with the fab mom, the one and only <laughs> Andrea Howick of whereparentstalk.com. And today, as two hockey, multitasking, <laughs> working moms, yeah. we're going to share with you our very best working mom survival balance tips. So Andrea, tell us a little bit about what you do and uh, how you do everything as, as a busy working hockey mom like me. We actually met at hockey, would you believe? Isn't that so funny? Well, whereparentstalk.com is a hub for parents to come to find information, to share, to blog, and it's really a meeting place where we can all vent about our crazy days. And I actually think that this new economy that you and I are sort of both part of, this online blogging, videos, websites, it allows for a certain amount of flexibility to moms like us Absolutely. to be able to multitask, to be there at pickup, yet to still be able to do a teleconference call with someone on another coast. It's so a new world. It's it like is. a new world. Yeah. This, this, this online social media world is a brand new, incredible opportunity yeah. at all of our fingertips for all these moms yeah. who are looking to stay busy. And I, I mean, like you, I'm sure, I've had a nine to five job before, and a lot of people still do, and I don't think that allows you the same amount of flexibility. Now, you, re you really have to be able to budget your time, right? And I think we're all guilty of some days, it just doesn't go as we planned. No, how can <laughs> it? There's no perfection in life. How can every day go perfectly? So give us quickly a little bit of a, a, a day for you, and how you survive being a working mom. What is your number one biggest, best balance tip for us? Well, to share with us. I think you're hitting the nail on the head. For everyone, it's different. So everyone's gonna have their pottery class or their little escape, their latte at 11 in the morning with girlfriends, whatever it is that you need to be able to recharge and go through those hours to come. For me, it's usually a workout. I, I, I always say I work out more for my head than for my body. Absolutely. Um, I feel like I can go into a workout anxious, frustrated, mad at my husband, and come out of the workout, and I usually sit at my computer and I've been inspired. I, I can write an article. I've, You're a brand I found new a woman. solution to, yeah. That's my one thing during the day. Do you have one? I do. So my boys know if I've had um, a crazy day and a busy day, they know when they see mommy's bathroom door closed, she is having her, her daily me time. For me, my nightly bath, yeah. burning hot, a few drops of lavender, some candles, and that is how, at the end of the day, I take it all in, yeah. I, I process how the day went, I give myself a rating sort of in my head of how I thought I did, and I just try and relax. And usually when the kids go to sleep, that is my time um, where I regroup and I try and just balance this whole crazy thing <laughs> called motherhood. I'm sure you can relate. We'd also love to hear some of your balance tips. Perhaps you could, you could leave a comment right below on how you balance your crazy, busy mommy life. And um, thanks for watching. This vlog was sponsored by Microsoft Office. And you'll learn a little bit more now on some of the great things that you can use to manage your busy balance, your busy life. So stay tuned. One of the great features I love about Microsoft Office is now called Snow Ductivity. Why is it called Snow Ductivity? Because if you're stuck in a snowstorm, you can still be productive. I love it. What it does is if you're traveling and you happen to forget that important document that you need for a business trip or a meeting, you get online and you store via Microsoft Office all of your important documents and you can access them from anywhere around the world. Snow Ductivity, is that cool or what? Often I'm pitching a brand or a product and I want to put some pictures into my PowerPoint presentation, but I always have to close PowerPoint and then open up the editing software to edit my photos. Not anymore. In Office 2010 in PowerPoint, you can now edit your own photos without having to leave PowerPoint. It's really cool. you got to check it out. Something great that I'd love you to know about from Microsoft Excel is this family budget creation. You can create custom templates through Microsoft Excel to manage your family budget. So check it out. This template helps you track your family expenses by category and monitor your spending. One cool feature is that it quickly identifies where you need to cut back. That's because it immediately calculates the difference between your actual spending and the targets you set at the beginning of each month. It's really cool. It's never been easier to keep track of your family spending on a budget than through Microsoft Excel.